I don't want you reading this trash. These books should be banned. 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 Since the 1950s, horror comics have had a bad reputation. They've been confiscated by parents, publicly burned, and even banned by the government. Some of history's most reviled horror comics were produced by Erie Publications. In the 60s and 70s, they put out some of the most depraved, disgusting, and dangerous comics ever conceived, and in the process, warped millions of tender young minds. Well, now there's a book that celebrates those gory, glory days of putrid horror comics, the weird world of eerie publications. It's an ode to those detestable, blood-dripping, spine-snapping mags that soiled the bottom shelf of the comic rack. Inside, you'll meet Myron Fast, the tyrannical publisher who ruled over his kingdom of pulp with an iron fist and a loaded gun. There was never a trend he couldn't cash in on or a subject he couldn't exploit. Follow him from his days as a pre-code comic artist through his lucrative magazine years as he became one of the most successful publishers in the world. You'll also meet comic legend Carl Burgos, the creator of the Human Torch, who took out his ire on the industry that he helped to create but had turned its back on him. His revenge? Editing these sordid rags and filling them with crypt stories and gory artwork. This is the whole story, from before the beginning to well after the bitter end, with hundreds of full-color illustrations, including those notorious covers. The Weird World of Eerie Publications also contains a new six-page story, illustrated by the legendary pubs artist Dick Ayers, his first horror story in over 30 years. The Weird World of Eerie Publications, published by Feral House. Available at feralhouse.com, amazon.com, walmart.com, your local comic shop, and better bookstores worldwide. If you don't see it, demand!